How are you? Hi, man. I'm doing good. And it's a true honor to be here and to perform here in Amsterdam tonight. Today, first day of the tour. What is going through your mind right now? Hey, well, for the time being, there's a lot of stuff going through my mind. But uh, I'm really excited to actually be here and uh, actually really looking forward to perform tonight. Mm -hmm. And is, is this important? Because you've, you've played many shows you put, uh, all over the world and now you are doing your own tour. Is, is this an important time for you? I think it's uh, quite important because uh, then I get, as well uh, as I've already done before, but I think it's more like a even, I would say, an even stronger way of getting a personal relationship with my fans and followers that's actually coming here to see my show. Mm -hmm. And this personal connection with your fans, uh, obviously, to you is very important. And I wrote something down for, I think it's in your bio or something. Everything started out with people or rather nicknames from around the world help, helping each other out. So can you explain a little, a little bit more? Uh, well, back in 2012, when I first started to make music, I got in touch with, for example, producers from Spain, Canada, mm -hmm. Australia, Chile, and uh, pretty much around the whole world. And we made Facebook groups, for example, and just where we could sit down, discuss music, get tips and tricks, what we mm -hmm. should do, what we should not do when it comes to music production. And, and it, was, it worked really, really great, and it's been a really, really good help for me actually as uh, establishing myself as an artist and also learning things on the road. It, especially like you say, yeah, the beginning as a, as a musician and, and were you surprised by this community, so to say? Yeah, because that's what I was, I, well, that was pretty much the first thing that I got introduced to and, uh, and it was really good help because uh, me just starting out with pretty much nothing, uh, and just getting in touch with people that way was really, really good for me as an artist. What kind of uh, tips did they give, or is there maybe one thing that sticks out that you kind of got from those groups? Uh, well, one thing that they helped me with was, for, for example, changing my artist name. I used to be go by the uh, name DJ Walks, and we were just discussing, like, should I change my name from DJ Walks to either Walks, Walker, Alan Walker, or something else? And they all uh, agreed upon you should use your real name, Alan Walker. Mm -hmm. And that's, for example, one thing that happened. And uh, also when I first released Fade, for example, they gave me feedback before I released it. Right. And they pretty much made all of my other songs as well. And it's been a true help because they gave me feedback and they were just trying to be as brutally honest as they can be. And uh, yeah, I think that it's a very good thing because uh, I've learned so much just by getting honest criticism uh, instead of people just, say, just saying, hey, yeah, it's good, so, right. yeah. And obviously when you're starting out, but I, I assume still when you, when you produce, is it a very, essentially a very lonely thing in a way because it's just you and a laptop? Yeah, it could be lonely, but at the same time you're having a pretty good time because as soon as, soon as you get the, I don't know, the feeling of that you're in, onto something really good, then it's just everything turns to pretty fun because you can maybe spend nights just working on a pretty cool idea that you get and then it becomes the days because you're starting to feel like oh wow this can actually be pretty good mm -hmm. so and yeah like but you're of course setting off a lot of time uh, from your free time for example uh, instead of paying off with for some of friends or at work <laughs> and uh, and yeah, but uh, you can't get lonely, but so far I don't really think it has really affected me in that way. But in, in that sense, because, uh, well, you talk about the Facebook groups and you're very much uh, uh, someone of the generation of uh, social media, but also those kind of technologies, social technologies. So having this communi community, as you said, is that kind of the, the other side that, that, like you say, you make uh, a track in your bedroom, you can really get involved, but then technology allows you to share it to anybody all over the world. Yeah, and also that really helped me when I, when I was also was producing because I can also just talk to them while I was working because instead of actually going out and talk to my friends, then right. I talk to them. But uh, it was really good because, I, I don't know, like I've learned so much just by doing so and uh, I do actually totally recommend it because I think it's the maybe a new step or into the new generation of producing music because Everything I've accomplished is pretty much just on the internet. Mm -hmm. 
And well, pa part of this is because uh, you also were interested in graphic design, and so so part of kind of this this new internet culture is the, the way you present, you like to present yourself, and and so so where did this come from? Uh, graphic design was been pretty random because uh, when I was even younger, I downloaded Photoshop and uh, uh, just started messing around, making like. Uh, signatures like people on forums that I was in, in gaming with like you could have a signature with a picture that said your username so I kept on making uh, those with a transparent background and people really liked them and uh, later on I started to uh, combine this with the programming that I used to do before mm -hmm. uh, with graphic design and I even got to uh, combine this with music production because I also designed my own logo and sure. uh, just all those things uh, just fit perfectly together and also uh, for example making my own logo or being able to actually give criticism to my own art or you know, getting it well when we're making the cover arts for example for failing sing with the sleep mm -hmm. alone etc like uh, it's just like just by doing these kind of stuff like I would say like I would take a closer look at the details uh, mm -hmm. because I used to do it before myself and uh, what I will also say that all these have in common is the programming part. Like you have to uh, program everything so it, yeah, it fits, right. fits perfectly together. And kind of you, you like to stay unrecognizable to a certain extent. So, so why is that? It's just a symbol of unity, pretty much. Okay. And like just to tell anyone that they can can be a walker, they can accomplish anything. Like and. Uh, what we also did in my brand new music video uh, for Alone like, was that we wanted to send out a very powerful message and that was like just including so many other people in the music video instead of having one person or three people as in Singing the Strip and Faded and we just wanted to like have it in a way like that everyone is connected but also like just send out the message that you're not alone because you may feel that you're alone but you're not actually alone. But this is very interesting because uh, Especially, uh, I suppose, in entertainment industries, people, some people might like to have their faces on everything. So, and then for you, it's more of a community aspect, uh, aspect, I suppose. Then. Yeah, pretty much. So, and then you talked about alone. So, so was this track produced with that in mind? To, to have this kind of message, so to say? Uh, well, in the very beginning, when we first started to produce it, then no. Uh, but mm -hmm. as we started to write the lyrics, we actually figured out, like, uh, while we started to write it, and I don't know, like, it sounds so powerful because Nini Bao, she had this amazing voice, mm -hmm. and she started just writing down some words that he, she had on her mind, and then we combined all the ideas, and we got the, for example, just had a note word that. Uh, so like unity and mm. we could just f think of ideas uh, all from that word and while you continue writing the whole song all from that idea and I think it really worked well. And then like you mentioned that feeling of, of uh, not feeling alone in this world, have you had reactions to that song from people that came up to you? or? Yeah, like people have sent me messages uh, uh, about them uh, not feeling, for example, that they're not alone anymore, and actually, and that it's been helping them because um, some of them maybe have been depressed or anything like. And they said like my music has been really like enlightened in their days. Mm -hmm. And uh, like for example, a couple of days ago, uh, a girl sent me a message you know, on Facebook, and she wrote that her son uh, he had troubles with, for, I think he was uh, drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, like he was, I think he was one year old, and she said like that every time she played fade and faded, he just started smiling and dancing, and it really like helped him, and he wouldn't do anything without listening to the song. Okay, and, and that's that's kind of the the payoff then, because um, your your videos on Facebook and you have billions of views, which, which is kind of astronomical in a way. So, so what does that do to you? That it is something you cr created now, like a, actually a billion views. It, it's yeah, when, well I actually never really think about it so much because it's just a number that I see there mm -hmm. and it's so hard to actually understand how big it is because right. the numbers is just outstanding and uh, absolutely amazing at the same time. But um, yeah, what it's done to me is pretty much, I wouldn't say it has done so much, but it's also been able or helping me to e evolve as an artist and also 
continue uh, uh, while running for my career as an artist. Because well, one thing that yet fade and then the, the faded uh, part of it, and then every track since has done quite well. So, so is there in in a sense a little bit of a pressure that each track has to do well? Uh, of course, that's going to be pressure. But I'm trying to not combine the songs because, mm. uh, for example, if I was to combine "Sing Me to Sleep" before the release with "Faded," and I think I would maybe, uh, I would say maybe distrust myself because right. uh, I would think like, ah, it's not going to stream as much as "Faded." But I'm trying to avoid having that thought because I think that would be maybe ruin me on myself as an artist because mm -hmm. I would f think maybe it won't work well and then I would maybe scratch an idea that may have mm -hmm. actually worked. And, and so like you say, uh, you're in this for, for the long run, so, so what are your plans for the future? Uh, my plans for the future is pretty much to uh, tour more and uh, release more singles. Uh, I've got no albums planned or EPs, so mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's just about it. And then, do you have a track ready yet? Uh, yeah, I, I have some tracks ready okay. to, uh, to actually be released pretty soon, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And then, without giving too much away, what can people expect from it? Uh, well, uh, I think people can ac actually expect more uh, Alan Walker style music. Like, uh, I'm trying to produce songs that's pretty much following a red line, uh, as in Faded, Singing to Ship and Alone. And, uh, uh, just by doing this, I'm also trying to uh, establish the Alan Walker signature sound. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm uh, actually trying to do that. And uh, so I will say, actually say one thing that I'm going to release a new song. Uh, it's based on my old song, Spectre. It's kind of like going to be in the same as uh, Fade to Faded uh, with vocals, but this time with male vocals. So. Okay. And then, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, 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 the I, th I think, is this the first time for with ma male vocals? Uh, yeah, that would be the uh, first time. So th were there any new challenges or is it the same? Uh, I would say it's just the same, okay. but uh, it's just with uh, male vocals. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Alan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.